Welcome. Today I would like to show you a little experiment with X-rays and a synthesizer. We will use X-rays to trigger this synthesizer here. I will briefly explain you the setup in order to understand what is going on here. I warn you, this is true science, this is not a fake video. Everything here is true and I will demonstrate you. So first off, we have here a German Geiger counter. It's a military German Geiger counter from the 80s and the Cold War. And this Geiger counter has this gamma and beta probe for beta rays and X-rays. We have here another Geiger counter. This is a professional thermoscientific Geiger counter. It's using nuclear power station and hospitals. And this strange old looking machine is a Wimschurst machine. This is an electrostatic generator capable of uh, generating several thousand volts, even 100,000 volts. And uh, this machine, by rotating these disks by hand, accumulate uh, electric, uh, electric potentials in these two big capacitors here. And they discharge here. And here I placed a vacuum tube. This is a RCA2X2A vacuum tube. So the theory is this. Whenever you have a, a very high electric potential inside a vacuum, the electrons are accelerated almost at the speed of light. You can consider, you can think of this machine as more or less as a nuclear uh, uh, accelerator, uh, hand cranked. So we have uh, electrons flying at almost at the speed of light inside the tube. And when they, they reach the end of the tube, they are break. And when the electrons break, they emit X-rays. The Geiger counter here has a earphone here connected to um, um, uh, contact microphones that is connected to the synthesizer. So you see these blinks? This is the Geiger counter that takes, that measures the background radiation we have here. We can listen to it. Here we go. So this is the background radiation that we are also measuring here. This is normal background radiation for this location. So the setup of the synthesizer is very simple. We have two sinusoidal, two sinusoidal oscillators going inside one filter and amplifier. And uh, the sound then goes to a little bit of delay and then goes out to the mixer and to the recorder here. To make things a little bit interesting, I made a little patch uh, that uh, self-generate pitches. So every time we listen to uh, a trig, we hear a different pitch. This is created here by a self-generating internal patch. But as you can see, there are no trigs connected because the trig happens because of radiation. To demonstrate that this machine truly works with radiation, I have here a small uh, sample of cobalt-6 um, isotope. And if we put this in front of the Geiger counter, you will hear radiation going on. And Okay, now we will use the Wimschurst machine to generate the X-rays. And I will do it by turning this by hand.
just one more time. So thank you for watching and I would like also to thank Carl Willis for inspiring me for this video and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.